Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, April 1st to April 2nd. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. You see the orbs? And no, it's nighttime out, so it's not the sun. Almost, I'd say 95%, oh, 90 to 95% of the time I do readings, <clears throat> they're at night. Personals may be during the day, but... These are at night. Hang on one minute. <sighs> okay. Yes, I'm a night owl. I admit it. I love the night. Okay. Let's see what's going on for my cancers for Wednesday to Thursday. And then I will get a message from my peeps here. What's going on for cancer? Three of Wands, Page of Cups. Ooh, there's something under there. Wait a minute. Two of Wands, Page of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Lovers. Bottom of the deck, we have Cancer, the Two of Swords. All right, let me get a message from Spirit here before we begin. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm hearing take cover. I don't know why. I don't know if that, like, statement means anything to you. Like, if that's... Can you elaborate on that? Okay, they're wanting you to... Well, that's an odd way to say it, but uh, they're wanting you to make sure that you're not getting comfortable in a sedentary lifestyle. Okay, so it's like when they say take cover, it's a very strange way of, of expressing this, but when they say take cover, it's like keep away from that, right? Keep away from that sedentary lifestyle protect yourself from that okay okay that's why I take cover it's the protection okay so if you feel if you start to feel sedentary because that can lead to depression um, no doubt depression anxiety rates will go up okay okay just remind yourself to, to keep moving right Okay. All right. So what do we have going on here? There is somebody at a distance cancer that you're thinking about. This is a lover. Um, but this distance may be getting in between you because of that third energy. It could be distance, could be a person, could be work, could be something, but I'm feeling it's more distance. Okay. Now, is this them? You may be offering an apology to somebody. Okay. You actually may be choosing between two different paths here. Let me clarify this. Clarify this two, uh, sorry, two of wands first. Okay. Two of wands, please. The two of wands is, twos are about decisions, right? The two of wands is always making a decision between two. It could be two different paths, right? But you're always seeing, you, you're always seeing your future. You have the world in your hands, right? You have the power in your hands to make this decision. Clarifying this is the seven of swords. I feel that if it's between two people, somebody's going to show their true colors and you'll be able to go on the path um, that you know is meant for you. So whoever, the seven of swords is a cheater, liar, somebody who's a thief, right? Um, being sneaky, 
they're gonna sh their true colors are going to come out so you're gonna see this clearly especially now nobody's gonna be able to hide nope um tell me about the three of wands please tell me about the three of wands tell me about the three of wands We've got the Page of Pentacles and we've got the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're somebody's at a distance, right? You're waiting. I think whoever this other person is or one of these people, something happens where you know you have to cut this person out of your life, whoever the Seven of Swords is. And then you will embark on your path and you won't look back. You're going to take the opportunity. It's like it's it's going to happen like that, Cancer. It's going to come up, you're going to be decisive, and that's it. It's like you're it's not up for discussion, right? It's like nobody's going to be able to talk their way out of this. <clears throat> Clarify this, lovers. Yeah, hang man. See? It's like you're in this position, right? This is the card of Pisces, but you're in this waiting position, trying to see things from a different perspective. Um if it is a, if it is a decision about two individuals okay so you're sitting here and you're hanging out and then all of a sudden bam this happens and you're like all right i know what i'm doing it's like you don't even have a time to be upset about that that's what i'm feeling it's almost like you were waiting for something like that to happen page of cups yeah see Okay, it's this person who's going to try to make an apology to you about getting a third party involved. This may be the sneakiness, okay? But like I said, it's not up for discussion, so it just isn't. You're not, you're not gonna you're not gonna engage even in the conversation. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Two of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah, you're not going to be in this um, unbalanced state. You've been unbalanced before, I'm feeling, and you're not going to want to deal with that again. It's like, I, I can hear you saying, I'm not going through this again. Been there, done that. So it's, it's like, we're not repeating past mistakes. You're not, anyway. So clarify this um, page of pentacles four of swords and eight of wands yeah so now both of these people may be at a distance and distance could just mean you're not in the same household right now because everybody's you know a lot of people are quarantined um or maybe even they're a city over but it seems so far away because you can't you can't see each other um there's some type of barrier this distance could be a barrier but you are communicating passionately to this other individual. I don't feel this Eight of Wands is this Seven of Swords individual. And you've really thought long and hard about your decision between these two. So it's kind of funny how this happens. I think you knew anyway, and this, whatever this is coming out with the seven of swords, it's like, it's just your confirmation of your intuition. If anything, trust your intuition at this time, especially at this time. When I say the world's changing, you truly have no clue. The things I am seeing now. Okay. All right, so what is your advice? What's your advice for cancer? Advice, advice. I don't feel you need a lot of advice. Two of swords. Don't, um, don't blind yourself to the truth, okay? Make sure that this truth will be able to come to you because it's like the two of swords came out with the tower. Okay, which this tower is the seven of swords, this information coming out. And we can choose to put our head in the sand, right? I don't think you will. I think they're reminding you, pay attention because it's coming. Okay, so make that decision. 
don't um, don't overthink the decision. Yeah, because that's what's going to happen. You're going to feel heavy. You're going to feel weighed down. Okay. Magician, just remember that you are the magician. This is the card of Gemini. This is having everything before you to uh, manifest whatever you want. And as soon as this happens, it's like you make the decision. Um, really, don't get caught in a trap. Remind yourself, Cancer, don't get caught in a trap. Make the decision, move. Just keep moving, okay? And you will start manifesting like no tomorrow. All right, Cancer, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, so that way it's more specific to your needs. The information is in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Cancer, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.